alias Paint Your Wagon, and they call me Paint. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye. We had two trips a month, and he was an avid backpacker. He loved Leave No Trace. He loved fly fishing. You know, he loved doing all the merit badges, but he also taught us uh, wilderness ethics, right? So we could tie knots and use our hatchet, but then he taught us where we can and cannot use, you know, certain devices. Go ahead. You just have to go over that ridge. Yeah. Welcome to Marcus Senior. This time we do something different a little bit. We go on a five day backpacking trip in the high Sierras. We start this morning at the Thomas Edison Lake, hiking up Pioneer Basin, camping there for a day or so and hiking out. Total five days and um, we explore the John Muir Wilderness. Right now we are walking on the John Muir Trail and the PCT, that's Pacific Crest Trail. And then afterwards we go a different route and just want to enjoy nature there should be still some snow so maybe a snowball fight or a snowman could be in the cart and um, just enjoy some peaceful quietness maybe some fishing with some trout dinners let's hope so anyway i want to take you along on this scout troop event to, so you can see what scouting is all about for boys and girls and um, let's have some fun. Oops, water crossing. Let's see if I can have you guys see what I'm doing here. Okay. Okay, sorry guys. Just had to cross a little river here. Beauty picture here. Oh my gosh, look at this view yeah. here. The place is a little dark with the shading, but good enough. Welcome to the Mosquito Land. It's nice to be able to have your setup. Hooks Everybody up. here, you guys all kind of have hooks, you all have stuff that you can make happen. Yeah. Over the next 1.3 miles, we're walking along the John Muir Trail and the PCT, that's Pacific Crest Trail. We have this little section in common, so we do a little section hiking. But it was actually fun. We stayed last night at the, I think, Vermil um, Resort, how we put the name underneath, where the PCT and the JTers 
um, often come to resupply and relax, take a zero and uh, cure their feet or take a shower, wash their clothes. It was fun actually seeing them in person, not just like on YouTube when you see them doing the PCT or JT. So it was actually nice to see some of them and talk to them about the experience and um, makes me also motivated to do the same one day either to a mirror trail or the PCT but um, it's also good for the scouts to see all the people there, all the support that the hikers get and um, get a good meal there too or water crossing? yeah water crossing yeah, oh water crossing, oops yeah. where's my plastic bag in my car? So you have to cross here, we go along. Oh, first water crossing here. Ready for it? Yeah. Oh, is it a water straw? Yes. The hardest part is to go down there, eh? Yeah. I know, but up to your knee. This was a fun first river crossing. We took off all our shoes because we didn't want to have wet feet for the rest of the trip because not all of us have trail runners that can drive really quickly so we have some really normal regular hiking boots some of them out of leather they will take a long time to dry so we got all some little water shoes slash camp shoes that we can also use and slipped into them as you could see from the video now in the distance I hear some thunder there's some rain, scattered thunderstorms and lightning on the weather forecast. Should be arriving some in the afternoon and then should be done by the evening. So when we pitch our tents, we should have dry, hopefully, so we can find the dry ground. So how you doing, Donovan? Oh, uh, good. There's a lot of thunder right now, so it's kind of sketchy, but we should be good. Packed everything away. How was the river crossing? Uh, it was cold, but it was really fun. I hope we do, well, we're gonna do more, but I don't know. It was pretty fun, but hopefully not in the rain. Waiting for the rest. They were right behind me and I stopped up here and nobody was there, so. That's a cool tree here you got. Yeah. Followed by Mr. Coleman bringing up the rear. How you feeling, Mr. Keen? Uh, okay. Yeah. Good. Good, Good time. Rain started. I had to I put my windbreaker on because it also is um, pretty good weather. Um, actually, water resistant is not waterproof, 
but um, it's pretty good what I read in the reviews. Um, as long as it doesn't damp poor, it's not just drizzling. But in the back, you see, I also put my um, my cover on, so to protect my my backpack from the rain. Down a little bit, but uh, not too bad, right? Not too bad, I agree, yeah. Lots, lots of threatening thunder, but we haven't gotten dumped on yet. No? Did you see lightning yet? No, we heard the thunder. So, Steve, where's our food here? Oh. I also have some dinner in here, chicken cherry. Okay. I have uh, dried yeah. salami and cheese, Rob has, and dried fruit, and the crackers. Evan has the crackers. And I have the dried fruit. Here's the mango. Yeah. This way. This so way. Easy. That Z way. Okay. Don't, don't misunderstand. They're like this. I've been, I've been over there. I've never so been on this side. So this is an easier way. Finally we made it, now we are in our tents, ready to go to bed. It's pretty good, it was an 8.3 miles day with um, around 1700 elevation gain up and down. We found a little spot here, a little bit off the river. We were cooking some chicken teriyaki and some soup and um, some cookies at the end with some coffee. Then we put the bare boxes away with all of our food and um, also Put some bags up in the trees with some of our territories. Now we rest and tomorrow we have a pretty big day ahead of us. Um, not so much mileage but more an elevation gain. I guess we are going up to around 10,400 uh, 10, or 10,800 depends on how we go up to one of the lakes and um, try if we can get some fishing in. Good night.